Morning, guys. I thought I'd go on uh, about the importance of goals in the sense of why it's important to actually be focused on them. Um, I was listening to an Arnold Schwarzenegger um, talk the other day, actually, and it was just on about why he sort of got motivated to do what he did. You know, his big motivations were like wanting to go to America, wanting to be... Um, uh, in charge of the government but his focus wasn't um, on the smaller stuff it was the end goals and that's the that's the key to a lot of this stuff is you don't just focus on um, the smaller bits this, the smaller bits I call them stepping stones because they're normally heading towards an ultimate goal or a large goal which is uh, often well pretty much nearly always life changing so see for me this place is our main goal. Um, so getting it, getting the mortgage paid. So getting it would be a main goal. Getting the mortgage uh, paid off, completed, is a little bit further further down the pecking order. Um, the the main thing was to get the property. The rest of it you'll work out. And that's why I sort of stress these things on the goals. Is the senses that you have your big stuff, your big goals you want to reach. Now, the other bits to get you there can chop and change. Um, you know, for example, I didn't, the company I was with before, not a very good company, um, not something, I, a company I like to be associated with. Um, so I've left there, but I, up until a point, it was essential around reaching the goal of getting the mortgage through because um, I had to have all the paperwork. Um, so I needed a job um, where I prefer to be a contractor or a um, consultant because when you get into these roles where they're rubbish, you can just walk away and move to another company within the space of a week. Um, so you recognize you will make sacrifices sometimes that was a role that wasn't very good company wasn't very good people um, a lot of people involved not good people um so you've got to sort of go okay you're gonna to have to take a hit on this one you're gonna to have to make some sacrifices to get from a to b same with the philippines when we first went out there we had a one bedroom little um, apartment um, we ended up with the call center the apartments the um, basically owning our own property um, and those were stepping stones to ultimately being fully sustainable in the Philippines which we were um, now even today we're, we're looking we've we got um, some Wi-Fi peso machines running. Um, we're looking at the water station because I want to get that up and running soon. Um, the apartments are pretty much all rented out. Um, so ultimately, that's ticking along. So if we want to go to the Philippines permanently, we could do because we've already got cash generating. We also know how to make money, at, like YouTube stuff. That money all goes on um, expenses and stuff in the Philippines. There's lots of little things that make up a regular income that makes things sustainable. Um, and that was the goal in the Philippines, to become sustainable. And that's what we achieved. And we got the property, we got the, um, the setup there. And that, that will continue. Spain... We're hammering this mortgage now. The next goal is to buy the next property. Um, but even then, I'm sort of sitting there looking at it and thinking, should I just use the money on investments? Because the ultimate thing is that the finances, um, the, the money that's invested into a property or into investments is ultimately for funding a sustainable life. As you probably recognize, my main goal is be sustainability where I can actually take the foot off the throttle working and just start um, doing more with my time 
that doesn't involve spreadsheets, doesn't involve um, lots and lots of work. Um, it involves traveling around, doing more YouTube videos, doing more um, travel type stuff and focusing on a different um, channel of where my life goes. Um, but I just wanted to sort of bring it up because I I do hear people say, well, goals are less focused now. That's so out of date because everything now is so quick and um, having a five-year plan doesn't work. But of course they work. What's changing is the, I will stay at this job for five years and do this goal. Do you know what? A lot of jobs change every two years and the biggest way to get a pay rise and improve your life is actually change your jobs regularly. That's the reality. You, you'll find that if you're an employer, um, you will find a new person will come in higher than your last few pay rises. So the point being is, a change in companies, you're going to get more money. Um, and ultimately, depending on what your goal is, money is often not the goal or the job's not the goal, is to get to where you want to be. Um, but I will say a key part of that is actually knowing what you want to do. Um, that's one of the things Arnold Schwarzenegger mentioned himself. It, it, you know, it's getting focused on... Um, what you want to do, what you want to achieve, where you want to go, and heading for it. And it is really that simple because everything else can change. You can have a bad year. You know, when, when the uh, roof got blown off the house in the Philippines, um, it wasn't a case of, oh, you know, I can't afford this, I can't afford that, I'm moaning about it. My first question was, was anybody hurt? Well, no, everyone's okay. Don't worry about it then. We'll, we'll sort it out. And that's the sort of mindset you need to move to, is you you expect to have things go wrong. Um, but it's how you deal with it. Because ultimately, they're not taking you away from your goal in the end. They may slow you down. But life throws these things. That's just part of life. Not everything's always going to go your way. But if you're focused on the ultimate goal then you will get there but it does mean that you have to commit to it it does mean you have to focus on it you do, you do have to put the effort in you do have to sit there and um, if it's around learning something new you will have to put a couple of hours a day in until you get to a point where you're moving into that career um, from whatever you're doing now um, but dabbling at it you'll never get there You've got to commit to doing it. Um, so I just want to share that today, just on goals are so important. Um, it's not just corporate waffle or whatever, um, because they pick up from other people. You know, a lot of people in the corporate world uh, regurgitate. A lot of them will just follow what they've been told. Um, now, <clears throat> they may not always fully understand why they're doing something but they know it works because they've been given it because it, somebody else got it to work and it made their life easier or whatever um, so they all just follow a path um, that's that's your whole yes men scenario um, or yes people now they're all inclusive or maybe people don't want to be called people anymore I don't know um, but the point being is these things occur because they work and they reoccur and they reiterate and reinforced because they do work. Um, having that focus to head off in one direction and just keep on it, having things spanners thrown in the works, you you refocus. Okay, I'm still going for this. And as long as you're doing that, you will find you will get there. I mean, it's a bit like um, the problems we had with the house purchases and stuff. You know, when you find out somebody didn't actually own a property and you find um, issues around the mortgage getting it set up because um, I've got very little um, Western financial history because I was in the East for so long. Um, but you just go, okay, I'm still going to do it. What do I need? How do I need to, how do I need to achieve this? 
and you just keep pushing and pushing and pushing and you will always get there um but anyway thanks for watching